This video will be explaining how to access and use the features of Deep Embed in Genetech Security Desk. For instructions on how to set up Deep Embed, please watch our BioConnected server installation with Security Center video. Before the support video starts, we'd like to introduce you to BioConnect Insights. Do your biometric devices ever encounter networking issues? BioConnect Insights is a new feature within BioConnect Enterprise that identifies these issues early on, allowing your organization to restore normal device and network operations before system use is hindered. Feel free to ask your technical services advisor about Insights or check out our YouTube page for a demonstration. In Security Desk, go to Cardholder Management, select a user, and click Modify. Click on the BioConnect button. Here, you can view user information, enroll biometrics, select bypass cards, and view enrolled biometrics. You can also see an event log which lists your actions in this window. To enroll biometrics, you will first need to make sure that you have an online enrollment reader in BioConnect. To add an enrollment device, open the Device Management tab in BioConnect. To learn how to add devices in BioConnect, please watch our device management video. Click on the plus next to the device you would like to enroll with. Select the box next to enrollment reader and click save. The device will restart and go offline. It should come back online within around 30 seconds and the box in the enrollment column will be green. Select your device in the drop-down menu. If it still hasn't shown up, close and reopen this window. Since I'm using a BioEntry W2, I'll be enrolling fingerprints. To learn how to enroll your face, please refer to your Deep Embed guide which can be found in your installation package in the documentation folder. If you are enrolling fingerprints, select Equality. When enrolling, the device will reject any scans that have a quality score lower than the minimum selected. You can set it to 40 if needed based on the user experience. Using 80 is recommended. Select the finger that you will be enrolling. Before enrolling, we highly recommend familiarizing yourself with our Best Enrollment Practices video. Bad enrollments can result in high false rejection rates among other issues. When you are ready, click Enroll. After clicking Enroll, wait for the device to start blinking yellow and then scan your finger three times. If you are scanning with the BioMini, you will be able to see a picture of your fingerprint while it is being enrolled. If you are using a device, as I am, you will not see an image. The BioMini and Generation 1 devices will capture three templates. Generation 2 devices will capture three sets of two templates for a total of six templates, so you will scan a total of six times. In the Biometric Templates section, you can see Enrolled Biometrics. To delete a specific template, click the X in the corner of the template image and click OK. To re-enroll a finger, Simply make sure that the finger is selected and click Enroll again. To enroll another finger, select a different finger in the drop-down menu and click Enroll again. In the Credential Management section, you can manage bypass cards. In order to use this section properly, there must have been an enrollment device online when you opened this window. If you have an active credential added in the Credential tab and the user is active, under Credential Management, Has Valid Credential will display. To add a bypass card, select one in the drop-down menu. This will allow the user to use any of the selected cards without also scanning biometrics to authenticate on readers whose operation mode is card plus biometric or card only. Also, in BioConnect, in the Credentials tab of the user you are setting bypass cards for, any cards that you have set as bypass cards will have the card only box filled. For more information on Deep Embed, please refer to the Deep Embed guide which can be found in the documentation folder of your installation package. For more help, please visit support.bioconnect.com and check out our other videos.